Yo, what is going on guys? This is Saber and today I am going to be teaching you guys how to 2D motion track inside Adobe After Effects CS6. Honestly, it's probably going to have to be the easiest tutorial ever made. Um, it's really simple and <clears throat> if you guys want, if some of you guys do have Element 3D, I will show you guys how to motion track with Element 3D, uh, make 3D shit in Element 3D. <laughs> Um, so this is what you guys are going to be learning today. It's really, really simple text with uh, maybe a like, little bit see-through overlay. I see it a lot in edits and I just thought I'd like to do a little tutorial for this on you guys. <clears throat> because I do, I did have getting a lot of motion tracking requests. So let's go ahead and start this up here. So we're going to drag our cinematic into a new composition. and. I am actually going to cut the cinematic down to two seconds because uh, I don't want this to take too long. So, uh, really, really simple. Uh, you're going to go ahead and you're going to right click on your uh, cinematic and go over to track camera. And this only this track camera only works inside Adobe After Effects CS6. So that is the newest. Uh, after Effects around um, so far uh, if you guys have CS5 or CS5.5 you guys might have uh, the plugin called camera tracker uh, from the foundry if you guys don't and you guys are not really looking forward to getting a uh, CS6 uh, I advise you guys to download that but I would advise you guys so much to um, upgrade to CS6 because there's a lot more built-in plugins into this uh, this After Effects, and uh, it really helps you a lot. And with the Foundry Camera Tracker, it's uh, it's a bitch, and you can't you can't really see how long it will take. Unlike this uh, Camera Tracker here, as you can see, it tells you what time and what frame it's on, and you know it's it's really useful. So you know. The longer your cinematic is, the longer it's going to take, but then again, I have a shitty computer, so it takes me a while just to motion track some cinematics, but this is how, or this is what I recommend for you guys is get CS6. Uh, if you guys want to do some pretty easy motion tracking, uh, do CS6. Um, Buju and the whole Cinema 4D thing, really helpful as well, but... Once again, very, very time consuming. If you're really just looking forward to just getting something done really, really quickly, uh, which I like doing because I don't really like spending a long, like a, like a long time making my intros or whatever for my videos, I advise you guys to get this CS6 and you know start motion tracking. So as you can see, it just finished tracking and it's solving the camera. So. You don't really have to do time do too much uh, as in for uh, uh, geo like geometrical stuff like you don't have to pick the Z Y and X axis on like Buju. Um, and plus, this is very effective as well. It's about it's pretty much as much like it's pretty powerful like Buju, and it tracks on pretty good. So anyway, since it's all tracked, as you can see. We have all these little track features. What you guys can do, you can click on one or do what I do and click and hold and highlight a bunch. So after you highlight these, oh, come on. What the fuck? Okay, you right click and you go over to create camera or create null in camera. And then now. As you can see, you have your null and you have your camera. You can delete the null. It's really not that important. But so now your your cinematics is basically motion tracked already. Um, now you can just go ahead and put some text. Uh, let's call this. Uh, let's see here, tutorial. And then go ahead and press the 3D layer. If you guys don't see this, just go down here to toggle switches and modes and. Go ahead and click on the 3D layer. Position it to where you want it to be. So I want mine to be like kind of kind of in the center, not too much. Uh, that's good. 
and then as you can see, if I scrub through, I'm just gonna ram preview it. As you can see, it's it's motion tracked really nice actually, a lot nicer than uh, some other motion tracking. The the foundry motion tracker camera tracker, it's kind of it doesn't get that smooth uh, motion tracking as Buju and this built-in camera tracker does um, for CSX. And if you guys want to know how to do this little uh, see-through thing, really simple. Uh, go ahead, toggle sw uh, switches and modes, and switch your text uh, layer to overlay. As you can see, it's pretty dark, so you can't really see it. So go over to effects and search up brightness and contrast, and just fucking bump up the brightness to 100, and then. You can also add some more stuff. Uh, maybe levels. Just to brighten it up a bit as well. So you can kind of really see it. You can also pretty much do anything if you want. So it's kind of it's kind of really it, guys, um, for <laughs> the 2D motion tracking. I know it's a really fast tutorial, but you know, really simple. So. If you guys enjoyed it, and if you guys have any more tutorial requests, make sure you guys uh, comment or ask me on Twitter or message me on YouTube inbox for tutorials, and I will most likely end up doing them. But anyway, guys, this is Saber and Mo. Peace.